In this video, we will discuss the understanding and principles underpinning skew lines. This topic is part of the Design, Communication and Graphic Subject Syllabus. Skew lines are any lines that don't intersect, are not parallel, and are not coplanar. Here are some real life examples. The top of the bridge is skew to the bottom of the deck of the bridge because they are not parallel or coplanar and they do not intersect. The second real life example, the top pipe is skew to the bottom pipe because they are not parallel or coplanar and they do not intersect. Which of the lines is skew? Intersecting lines. When two lines intersect, the point of intersection will align in elevation and plan and any other view. You can see in the elevation and plan, the cross lines. These are intersecting because the line vertically pinpoints the intersecting point in both elevation and plan. Skew lines do not intersect. Their apparent point intersection will not align in elevation, plan or any other view. The points do not intersect. Understanding skew lines use. Here we look back at um, our earlier example. The top pipe is skewed to the bottom pipe because they are not parallel or coplanar and they do not intersect. Skew lines are used to find the shortest distance between skews, which would be the shortest distance we can manufacture a pipe between these two pipes, the blue line is shown, to find perpendicular distance between skews. Say if we wanted a pipe perpendicular to one pipe to connect to the other pipe. This is what skew lines are used for. We also can use skew lines to find distance at a set angle, say 30 degrees um, from the bottom pipe. We could get the distance and know for, for manufacture. Skew lines has many practical applications in the real world and can be invaluable in engineering, pipework, mining, structural frames, etc. Let's have a look at these pipes in a 3D model. Here's a 3D model representing the skew line pipes as shown in the previous picture. We can see the pipes are skewed because the lines don't intersect, the lines are not parallel and the lines are not coplanar, meaning they're not on the same plane. This is the view from the elevation. This is the view from the plan. We can use the principles of skew lines if we had to find the measurement or the distance to connect another pipe to both skewed pipes. We could work out the length of the pipe we needed for the shortest distance, that is between the two pipes, the shortest perpendicular distance, that's say if you wanted to have a pipe perpendicular to one pipe, we can find that distance, or the distance the connecting pipe needs to be at a set angle. So from the other example we showed you um, a pipe at 30 degrees from one pipe. We can find the distance that that needs to be. So you can see from the presented examples the topic of skew lines can have great implications and use in real world problem solving. 